So for today's video, we are going to be making one of these three kitty cats. Um, we have the option of this guy. He'll be no so um, head, arms, and body, and, and tail. And then we'll sew his little feet on afterwards. And then we have this guy. He'll be you no know, so head, arms, body, and legs, and tail. So it'll only be his nose and his ears that you sew on. And then we have this guy. He'll be you no know, so head, body, arms, and legs in a standing style. Um, and then you're also going to have the option to make the longer, the larger head and body, and the longer and shorter arms and legs. Um, it does get a little tricky at the end, um, kind of messy even. I have watched what I've recorded already, and it doesn't seem quite as bad as I thought it was when I was actually recording it. But if you're a beginner, stick with this one. And then if you want to, this one or this one, and then if you want to go back to the larger, maybe you want to do a second cat and try the other version. Um, I'm going to refer to everything as small or large. And then I'm going to put um, instructions um, up here and up here for each way that it can be done. Um, I apologize if it gets confusing. If I, there's the odd time where I make a counting mistake and um, go by the instructions on the screen, not by what I say. Um, okay, let's get started. So you're going to be making a loop, a magic circle, or a chain two, however you're used to um, starting when you're crocheting in the round. I'm just going to make a simple loop as if I was going to um, start chaining about the size, just, just a hair bigger than my crochet hook so I can get six stitches into there. And we're going to have to do one slip stitch just to anchor that yarn on there on the hook. So there's one slip stitch and then we're going to start our um, six single crochets into this loop. So we got one, two, three, four, five and six so however you started as long as you've got six single crochets all the way around um, you'll be ready for the next step so I'm just gonna grab a little piece of yarn for a stitch marker um, and for row two we are gonna do one single crochet and one increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of nine stitches so one single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to put stitch two and three in the next stitch so two and three stitch four in the next stitch five and six in the next stitch seven in the next stitch 
and then stitch 8 and 9 in that last stitch. For round 3, we are just going to do 9 single crochets all the way around for a total of 9 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine in the last stitch of that round. Flip your stitch marker. For row four, we are going to do two single crochets and then an increase, and we're going to repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, and one again for two, then an increase for three and four. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around. Five, six, then an increase for seven and eight. And then nine, 10, and an increase, 11 and 12. Flip your stitch marker and now we're just gonna do 12 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. For row six, we're going to do three single crochets and then one increase for a total of 15. So one, two, three, and an increase for four and five. And we'll just repeat that all the way around. So six, seven, eight, and an increase for nine and 10. And 11, 12, 13, and increase in that last stitch for 14 and 15. For row seven, you're just going to do 15 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 
and last stitch is 15. Now, if you're doing the small ear, you're done, and you're just going to slip stitch into here and pull that through. Whoops. Tie it off and um, leave yourself enough of a tail that um, you can sew that back in. And if you're going to be making the large ear, I will put the instructions in the next little clip so you can pause that um, when that pops up. And if you're making um, the size small, just skip that part. Okay, to get started, you're going to make your loop or your magic circle or use the chain two method. However you start um, when you're going in the round and you want to have that on. If you're doing a loop like me, you want to have a small loop. And you're going to do one slip stitch just to anchor that yarn and then start your six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Grab your stitch marker if you're using one. And you are going to do um, six increases all the way around for a total of 12. So an increase. So one and two in that first stitch. Another increase, three and four. And another increase. Five, whoops, and six. Another increase, seven and eight. Another increase, nine and ten. Another increase, eleven and twelve. Flip your stitch marker, if you're doing it like me, um, for round three and round four, we're going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. So round three is one, whoops, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And again for row four, 12 all the way around. One, two, three, four, whoops, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now here's where I'm going to, oops, don't go through. When you get to the twelve stitch, don't pull that, that last stitch all the way through because we're going to make a color change here. And we're going to switch to our, well, I'm going to use gray, 
whatever other, whatever other color you're using or if you're not making a color change um, just hold on one second and we'll get going on to the rest of the tail so you're just gonna tie your next color in on there and then you're gonna pull the gray through that 12th stitch for the end of that round. Cut off your white if that's the color you're using. And then for round five to round 30, we are just gonna do um, 12 single crochets all the way around. And I'm just gonna flip my stitch marker after each row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have five rows now. Um, to make it easier, what I like to do is now I'm going to do um, five rows at a time before I switch, um, flip my stitch marker because, and then um, and just keep counting. Um, I think it's 60 stitches is five rows and then when I get to my fifth row I'm going to flip my stitch marker and that's a good way to count by fives into 30. So start at one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then I'm going to keep on going till I get to sixty, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 
55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So that should have been row 10. So you can just check starting down here where you first had your, um, your first in the round is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, the end of your 10th row. So now I'm gonna flip my stitch marker and I'm gonna do another 60. Then I should have 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, and thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, oh, look at that. Nice. 48. So if you get that, just try and, if you ever get run into that, just try and make sure you keep that at the back. I just lost count here. One, two, so that should be 48, I think. 49, 50, 51. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. And I'm just going to check that my stitches line up just in case I miscounted there when I got that knot in my yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so I'm gonna split my stitch marker. We're halfway there now. Now there's sixty. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, 
nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oops. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. 1, um, flip your stitch marker, so we have 5, 10, 15, 20, we have two more batches of 60, and I mean, this is just the amount I picked, you can have a shorter tail or a smaller tail, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 
set of 60 or five rows one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. And I'm just going to count that I have 30 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 
26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Don't forget, um, if you were just going along without a stitch marker, if you count from, from here straight up, you're not going to maybe get the right count because your stitches twist around when you go in the round. So this is where you started, but you end way over on this side. Okay, so let's get that stuffed. Whoopsie. I'm gonna take my stitch marker out. So you wanna make sure you get it right down to the bottom there of his, the little tip of his tail. And if you want it to stand straight up so you can see it from um, behind, so it's up over his shoulder, um, then you're going to want to stuff it fairly firm. If you want to like be able to bend it um, or put a wire in it, stuff it a little on the lighter side. Just remember, do not overstuff it because you don't want to see all your stuffing through your stitches. Okay, once you got that all stuffed up, you are going to fold it in half. Put your hook back in, assuming you took it out. And then we want five single crochets through both the top or the front and the back all the way to this side. So you're just sealing that up now. So you're through, let's move that over. So you're through this side and you're through this side when you grab your yarn. And you might need to give that a bit of a tug so you don't have a loose stitch on this side. So one, through both sides for two, grab both sides again for three, both sides again, four, and your last one you through both sides. See, I just about didn't get that side there. So make sure you're watching and checking and that'll be five. Give it a bit of a pull and then you'll tie it off and leave enough of a tail to sew that on. Oh, if you're sewing it on, I think we're going to be sewing this in as we go, but still give yourself enough of a tail that just in case you need it. So we are going to start with a loop or a magic circle or the chain two method, however you usually start when you're working in the rounds. And we're just, if you're starting in the loop like me, you're just going to put a little slip stitch in there just to anchor that yarn down and that does not count as a stitch. Um, I don't use the magic circle or the chain two method, so I don't know how to teach that one. So if you are using that way, um, your goal is to have six single crochets into the loop. So no matter which way you do it, there'll be six single crochets in the loop to make the round. So we'll do one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and six single crochet. And if you go over your tail doing it this way and you made your loop too big, you can just pull your tail and kind of snug that hole smaller. Um, okay, for round two, we're going to do six increases for a total of 12. So we'll have two single crochets in each st stitch around. 
So in this first stitch, we're going to increase. If we can get our hook in there. Of course not. If you ever get where your first stitch is too tight, just stick your darning needle in there and it'll make the hole a little nicer to get your hook in there. And grab my stitch marker too while I'm at it. Okay. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, so the increase, so one and two in the first stitch. three and four in the next stitch, five and six in the next stitch, seven and eight in the next stitch, nine and ten in the next stitch, and eleven and twelve in the last stitch. Change your stitch markers. So I'm just flipping mine over. For round three, we are going to do one single crochet and one increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one single crochet for one and one increase for two and three. And I'm just going to count that around till we get to 18. So four in the next stitch, five and six in the next stitch, seven in the next stitch, eight and nine in the next stitch, 10, and then 11 and 12, 13, 14 and 15 in the next stitch, 16, and 17 and 18 in the last stitch. For rounds four, five, and six, we are going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. Round five, another 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and 18. Flip that stitch marker. 
we'll do round six. So another 18 all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Flip your stitch marker or change, however you're doing it. Um, for round seven, we're going to do five single crochets. Then we're going to do four decreases and then five um, single crochets for a total of 14. So one single crochet, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do four decreases. So you're going to go in through the first stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. In through the next stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. And then grab your yarn again and pull through all three of those loops. So there's your first um, single crochet decrease. We'll do that again. In through to your loop, Grab your yarn and pull through into your next stitch. Grab your yarn and pull through. You'll have three stitches on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through all three. And that's two single crochet decreases. So we have two more to do. So that's your third one. And then your fourth one. And you'll know you did them right if you have five single crochets left. So one, two, three, four, and five in your last stitch. Oops, I grabbed a piece there. Okay, five. Flip your stitch marker. And now you're just going to do 14 stitches all the way around. Single crochets, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. For row nine, you're going to kind of do the same as row seven. You're going to do five single crochets, then you're going to do two decreases, and then five single crochets on the other side for a total of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to do two single crochet decreases. So there's one decrease and two decreases. And then you should have five stitches left. One, two, three, four, when we get to this fifth one, um, if you're doing um, 
the paw one color and the arm another color. We're going to change colors right now. So you're going to go into that. Um, what stitch would that be? I guess the 12 stitch. Pull your yarn up and through, but don't finish that stitch. We're going to change the color. So we're just going to tie our new color on to the old color. Make sure you get your knot down close to where your um, hook is. And I tie mine about three times. I know some people just kind of put it in there, but I don't trust that. I got to give it a few knots. And then you'll cut your whatever your first color is. I'm going to put that so I can find it later. And then you'll grab your new color and you'll just pull it through to finish that 12 stitch. Okay, so here's where it's going to start getting tricky with the small cat and the large cat. So I'm going to be doing the small paw. So the next seven rows, row 10 to row 16, um, are just going to be 12 single crochets all the way around. Now if you're doing the large one, and I'll put that up here somewhere, um, you're going to do um, 14 rows, so it'll be row 10 to 23, and then um, we'll come back and our row <laughs> 17 for the small and 24 for the large will be the same um, round. It sounds confusing, but once we get going here, hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> okay. So we, if we're doing the small one, are doing seven rows. So one of 12, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's one row. So that was row ten. So row eleven. It's another twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So row 12 coming up, I believe. And we'll count this after. 13, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I think row thirteen, twelve, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
And I don't know what I'm counting, but we're done one, two, three, four rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That should be five rows. One, two, three, four, five. So two more rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12 and for the small one this should be our last row of 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I'm just going to count that out. We should be on row sixteen right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, if you're doing the small one, um, you're done with these rows. If you're doing the large one, you want seven more rows for a total of 23 rows um, from start to end. And then, so just pause this, do those next seven rows, and then come back and we'll do um, the last row together. Okay, so maybe we should stuff this first. There is one more row, but I can stuff this up. Up to you if you want it firm or or um, on the softer side. I like the paw a little firmer and then the arm kind of a little less so it doesn't like stick right out from the body. Well, it's getting firm, this one, I guess. Just make sure, um, most importantly, that both your arms are about the same. So if one's firm, the other's firm. If one's softer, the other's softer. Okay, so hopefully everybody here is um, done however many rows they need to do. So if you're doing the small arm, this is row 17. If you're doing the large arm, this is row 24. And we are gonna do four single crochets and one decrease and repeat that all the way around. So one, two, three, four, and a decrease. And then four again. So five, Six, seven, eight, and a decrease. Hmm. I think I counted that wrong. We should have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
One, two, three, four, five is your decrease. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten is your decrease. And then you can take your stitch marker out. Oh, before I do that, one reason that I really like using um, a piece of yarn for your stitch marker. So say you're up here and you don't know, you miss a stitch, you miss your count, something. And then you're like, well, where did I even start? You can kind of guess around here, but if you use a stitch marker, this is your last stitch on every row. And you can know how, you can even come back and count all the way around to see where did I make my mistake in whatever row you're counting on. So I know some people don't really like this and they think it's weird, but I really find it super helpful, especially if you have to go back. I first made these cats probably about three or four months ago. I didn't bring my pattern up, but my pattern was such a mess. I had like little circles for the muzzle. Like I had circles and then lines for the next stitch and then circle. I couldn't even read what I wrote. I basically had to redo the whole pattern again. But I had all my stitch markers in so I could go back and count every stitch. Okay, let's get back to this. So we want four, you're going to fold it over and then you want four single crochets um, across the top. Make sure your hook is in both sides of the um, arm and then just single crochet all the way across. So one, make sure it's in both sides, two, through both sides again, four, and five. Oh wait, one, two, three, four. I don't know, I might have just screwed up. But you want four across the top there. I'll just adjust that when I do my stitches. Or I'll redo it off camera. <laughs> oh, how did I get over there? Okay, so here's where it's going to start getting tricky and you need to decide what type of kitty cat you're making. So if you're going to be making um, the legs that sew down on the, the bottom of him, or if you're going to make the no-sew legs that are going to attach on the side of him, then we're going to do those right now. If you're going to make the full legs that will join and do after we're done the head and the body skip this part and join us back at um when we do the muzzle for his little face and i'll try and put a timestamp in there um and then we're also going to be deciding which if you're doing the um long legs or the small shorter legs for the small guy Okay, you're going to start with your loop again, or if you use a magic circle or the chain two method. For this way, we're just going to do our little slip stitch to attach the yarn so it doesn't go anywhere. And we're going to start six single crochets into whatever kind of loop you're making. So one, two, whoopsie, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so for round two, we're going to do six increases for a total of 12. Let's get my stitch marker here. Sorry, it's a little awkward sometimes getting it where I want it. 
So six in increases, so that's two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. Ah, why do I always have so much trouble with this first one? All right. <laughs> okay. It's getting late, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, one. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, well, at least my loop's up there still. Okay, one and two in the first stitch. Three and four in the next stitch. Five and six in the next stitch. Seven and eight in the next stitch. Nine and ten in the next stitch. Eleven and twelve in the next stitch, or last stitch. Okay. For round three, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase for a total of 18. So one, and then your increase, two and three. I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So four, then your increase is five and six. Seven, and then your increase, sorry, um, is that seven, eight, and nine? Ten, and your increase, eleven and twelve. Thirteen. Then your increase for 14 and 15 and 16 and 17 and 18. All right, row four is two single crochets and then an increase for a total of 24. So one single crochet, two single crochet, then an increase for three and four. And just repeat that all the way around. So five, six, and your increase for seven and eight. Nine, Oops, 10, 11, and 12 is your increase, 13, 14, then your increase for 15 and 16, 17, 18, Increase 19 and 20, 21, 22, and your increase for 23 and 24. All right, for row five, it's going to be three single crochets and an increase for a total of 30. So one, oops, two, three, and an increase for four and five. And then just repeat that all the way around. So six, seven, eight, 
and then nine and 10 for your increase. 11, 12, 13, and then 14 and 15 for your increase. 16, 17, 18, increase for 19 and 20. 21, 22, ah, 23, 24, and 25. And our last set here, 26, 27, 28, and an increase for 29 and 30. All right, for row six and row seven, we're gonna do um, 30 single crochets all the way around. So that's two rows of 30. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, oops, 29, and 30. So that was row six. So this is row seven, another 30 all the way around. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, where are we? Sorry, that was row six and seven. So for row eight, we're gonna do three single crochets and one decrease for a total of 24. So 
one, two, three, and a decrease for four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty is a decrease, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three and 24 is a decrease. All right, for row nine, we're gonna do four single crochet, eight decreases, and then four single crochet for a total of 16 stitches. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do eight decreases. So one decrease, two decreases, three decreases. four decreases, five decreases, six decreases, seven decreases, eight decreases, and we should have four single crochets left. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to do two rows. Ah. Of sixteen. So row ten and row eleven or 16 crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So that was row ten. So row eleven, we're going to do sixteen again all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Um, I think, yeah, we're changing color here, so don't finish that last stitch. And we'll change to gray or whatever color you're making your kitty cat. Make sure you get that knot right up close, tight to where your hook is. And pull that color through. Okay, now if you're making the small leg, you're gonna do row 12 to 18, 16 single crochets all the way around. And if you're doing the large, you're gonna do 12 to 25. And then I'll join you back here on the last row um, when we're done that. Um, I might just get my stitch counter out for this because I didn't write down how many rows this was. So we just finished row 11. Where's my stitch marker here? You're going to notice now that I cheat and I'm going to re-upload this exact same video of the leg for the second leg, but since I already have one made. <laughs> okay, so 16, row 12 is 16. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, row 13, 16 all the way around again. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, row 14. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, row 15, another 16 all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, row 16 coming up. 16 single crochets. Oh, did I not cut my white? No wonder I'm having a problem here. Okay, I should just use that as my stitch marker. Oh, sorry, my back is so stiff sitting at this table. All right, what were we on? Row 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Row seventeen. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So row eighteen, another sixteen all the way around. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and 16. Okay, if you're doing the small leg, we should be at row 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If you're doing the large leg, you want to keep going till you get to row 25. So pause that, do your next few rows. And then join us small legged makers at, um, it'll be our row 19 and your row 26. Okay. Pause, pause, pause. Come back. <laughs> okay. 
for row, what did, what did I say, row 19. We're going to do two single crochets and a decrease all the way around for a total of 12. Um, or row 26 if you're doing the large leg. So, one, two, a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. And then we're going to stuff this guy. So I'm going to pull out my stitch marker. Okay, get my hook, get that out of the way. And if this guy, you're planning on having him standing in any kind of way, you want to get a lot of stuffing down into his foot. So you want that nice and firm, but not so firm that you're pulling the stitches. Now, because I'm using white, you're not going to see that, but that is a bit overstuffed. Well, you're going to see it, but it's not going to be like if it was a black paw. If it was a black paw, I haven't tried this yet, but if you do, say you're using black, and you're having all your white stuffing show through in this one little spot, get a black piece of fabric or um, a black, I would use new sock. So I probably wouldn't use socks. I sew too, so I have black fabric. And just put a little chunk of fabric down in here. And then when you put your stuffing in, you're just gonna see black where these stitches are stretched a little bit. I might be making a baffle mat, if that's how you say it, um, with that retro stripe yarn. I shouldn't be doing this right now, but ugh. I love this yarn so much, and I just can't figure out what to make with it. But I might make, and he'll have black. He might be this pattern also, but just ad adjusted. Um, so I, he will probably have black paws, although I might do them a little different, more like hooves. But if the stitching stretches, I will be putting something black inside so I don't see my stuffing. Ooh. I think I'm going to be making a new leg because I made this so long ago. Look at the size of it. I will be making another leg. I played with this so much too. All right, if you are doing, let's see, let me think here. If you're doing the legs that are going to be facing front sewn on, like this guy, this guy's legs are just sewn on the bottom, then you want to start closing it right now. You'll flip it around and you're going to put six single crochets across. If you're going to be putting them on the side, you're going to have to adjust your stitches because you want this foot to be facing out. So you're going to, you're going to hold your guy sideways so his foot is the right way. And you're going to pinch that and you want to get your stitches to here before you close it. So for me, I'm going to put two more stitches in. So one, two, and then I'm going to close it so that his, um, I guess his toes or the front of his foot are facing the right way. And then you're going to put your six single crochets in, however, which way your toe is going to face on whatever pattern you're picking. One, two. Th 
three, four. Make sure you're going through both sides of um, both sides of your. If you can see that, that's so tight. I think this is five and six. If you find you get to the end and you didn't go across right, just put two in the same stitch at the end. It shouldn't really matter. I've never actually done one with the legs on the side, so this will be my first time because I feel like I like them on the bottom better. But this is an option for no sew if you um, want the, if you don't like the straight standing up guy. Okay, so cut that off. Leave the extra tail in case you end up sewing it on for some reason. Um, I think that's it for the leg. Okay, we're going to start on the muzzle, but before we do, I'm just going to... Um, I have a lot of people ask me if I have a written pattern. And yes, I write it down first, but I have no idea how to write a pattern so everyone else would understand it. And I'm just going to show you, this is my pattern. <laughs> um, I have no idea what this is, other than that's how I figured out how to do... Um, to get the stitches I wanted in the muzzle. So, no, I haven't written patterns yet. If I ever do, I will link them in the bottom of every video that I have a pattern for. But for now, it's just um, YouTube vi uh, tutorials. Okay, let's get started. So you're gonna make a loop, or if you're using the magic ring or your chain two method, And it doesn't matter if your loop's a little bigger this time because you're going to be putting a lot of stitches into the center right there. So if you are using the magic loop, maybe don't tighten it right, right tight. So you're going to do your little slip, slip stitch to attach the yarn. And then we're going to do six single crochets into that loop. So one, whoops, one. two, three, four, five, and six. So no, no matter which way you started, you're going to have six single crochets um, as your row count. Okay, so for row two, um, you probably want to watch um, while I do this because it's a little bit tricky. We're going to have 10 stitches total. Um, we're going to start with one single crochet in the first stitch. Oops. Come on. Be good to me. I'm sure I've said this many times. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, so you're one single crochet. Sorry about the little stall there. And then your next stitch, you're going to put three single crochets in. So one and two, and three. Um, the next two stitches, you're going to put one single crochet in. So one, and then one in the next one. And then you're going to do three single crochets into the next stitch. So one, and two, and three. And in the last stitch, you're gonna put one single crochet. 
and you should be right up to your stitch marker ready to start um, your next row. So for row three, it's going to be similar. It's going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and then you're going to do one increase. So we're going to put two single crochets into that next stitch. One and two. And then we're going to put three single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two and three. And then we're going to do one increase. So two in the next stitch, one and two. And then we're going to do two single crochets in the next two st stitches. So we're going to put one in there and one in there. So one in the next stitch and one in the next stitch. And now we're going to do an increase in the next stitch. So there'll be two in that same stitch. One and two. And then we're going to put three single crochets in the next stitch. So one and two and three. And then we're going to increase. So two stitches in this next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the last stitch. And we should have 18 stitches. Okay, so for row four, we're going to do 18 single crochet all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So if you got 18 right to your stitch marker, you know you did the last two rows correctly. For row five, we're going to do two single crochets and then an increase for a total of 24. So one, two, and an increase, three and four. And just repeat that all the way around. Five, six, Seven and eight for your increase. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, increase for eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and an increase fifteen and sixteen. 17, 18, increase for 19 and 20, 21, 22, and then your last increase for 23 and 24. And then we're going to, for row six, we're going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And then you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Tie that off, and you're going to want quite a bit of tail because you're going to go all the way around. Um, probably at least, um, if you just pull it, um, your arms outstretched, that should be more than enough. And then we might as well put our nose on right now. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. Grab whatever color nose. I'm going to do pink for this one. Um, this one that's showing is black. And then I've also done um, kind of a brownie orange color. I don't know. I could see if he'll sit here. He might be in the way, or I might knock him over. We'll see. Now I thought I just cut. I guess I didn't cut it. So I'm getting pink. A generous amount, and your darning needle. And you're just gonna go I like to make this the bottom so I can pull it up um, in here and kind of tuck it in if I need to at the end so try and go up what did I do here one two I went about three stitches up so or three rows so one two and three I'll try and get that in the middle I got a funny middle here And you're just going to go up through the inside and then down through your center. If you go the other way, it's going to be so thick, you're going to start kind of um, splitting your yarns. Like if you're coming up through here and you've got 10 or more um, stitches in there, it's not going to be as nice looking. And you're just going to keep going like this until you've got it full or how you want it. I feel like I do this differently every time. Sometimes I do two or three at once. Sometimes I do one at once. bigger than that so I'm gonna go one more time before I fill it in and there's lots of ways to do this if you have a better way that you um, prefer do it your way I got my tail in there and get that out of the way Just keep going back and forth until it's filled and when you're done I'll probably do this when I stuff it to attach it but when we're done leave this um, string 
we're going to go up in here and we're going to pull that really tight so we get this um, kind of opposite of a point shape down there. Okay, we're going to be starting from the head down. We're going to make our loop. Remember, we're going to be putting six single crochets into that. Um, you can also use your magic ring or the chain two method. Whichever way you usually start, you can still start that way. So I'm going to make one slip stitch at the beginning just to secure that yarn and that will not count as a stitch. And now we will start our row one, six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And grab your stitch marker if you're using one. And row two, we are gonna do six increases for a total of 12. So one and two. three and four five and six seven and eight nine and ten And our last increase, 11 and 12 in the last stitch. Change your stitch marker. For row three, we are going to do one single crochet, one increase for a total of 18. So one and an increase, two and three. And then we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So four, your increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine. Ten. Increase 11 and 12, 13, increase 14 and 15, 16, and your last increase 17 and 18. For round four, we're going to do two single crochets, one increase, and repeat that all the way around. So one, two, and your increase, three and four. Five, six, increase for seven and eight. Nine, ten, increase eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and an increase for fifteen and sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Increase 19 and 20, 21, 
one, 22, and then 23 and 24 for your last increase. Round five. We're gonna do three, whoops, yeah. Three single crochets and one increase for a total of 30. So one, two, three, then you're gonna increase four and five. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying increase now and I'm just gonna do the number and the next number. Um, this one's easy, it's in five, so just keep repeating that pattern all the way around of three single crochets and an increase. And I will count us out starting, so we just did five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, and 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and then in the last stitch, 29 and 30. Now, if you're doing the large kitty, you're gonna do row 5B, and that will be one more row of 30 single crochets all the way around. If you're doing a small one, um, we're gonna go right on to row number six. And for row number six, um, we're gonna do four single crochets and one increase for a total of 36, so one, two, three, four, and five and six is your increase. And just repeat that all the way around. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, and then 28 and 29. Whoops. One, two, three, whoops. 28 and 29 and 30, sorry. Nine and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35 and 36 in the last stitch. Now, if you're doing the large one, again, you're gonna do row 6B, which will be 36 single crochets all the way around. If you're doing a small one, we're gonna go straight to seven. 
and we're going to do five single crochets, one increase for a total of 42. So one, two, three, four, five, and six and seven for your increase. Now we'll see how good I am at counting by sevens. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen and fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, and twenty-eight. Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, and thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, Forty, forty-one, and forty-two in the last stitch. All right, round forty-eight. Or I mean, row forty-eight. Um, it's just going to be forty-two single crochets all the way around. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-three, <clears throat> twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, and forty-two. Okay. For row nine, we're going to do six single crochets and an increase, and then repeat that all the way around. So we'll be counting by eights. Um, if I get going and I screw up, I'm just going to do the repeat rounds. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, and our increase for seven and eight. And just repeat that all the way around. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15 and 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Oop. Yep, I think so, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47, and 48 in the last stitch. Okay. For row 10, we're just going to do 48 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <clears throat> eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. Okay, our next row 
row 11 is going to be seven sing single crochets and one increase for a total of 54. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think I'm just going to do the repeat rows instead of counting these ones out. I'm sure I will mess up somewhere thinking about my next row. Okay, so that was nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Repeat again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine for your increase. Okay, again, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine in, in that stitch. Okay, this should be about our last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if your eight and nine are in your last stitch before your stitch marker, then you know you counted that out right. Eight and nine. Okay, 54, 48, 42, okay. Um, we're now gonna do row 12 to row 17 54 single crochets all the way around. Um, so that's six rows. And I think I'm gonna do that off camera um, because this is gonna be a super long video as it is. Um, let me know in the comments though, do you prefer me to do those six rows online or do you prefer me to like fast track it a little bit? Or like even when I do the first set should I do the first set, set and then fast forward it and then start the next set in the next row, fast forward it? Um, if you like pausing and doing your own thing all the time, that's another way. And it's another option. I could redo this whole video twice and do it faster. Let me know in the comments um, when you're finished. Um, and I will join you back um, when you're done, row 17. And we'll start row 18 together. Okay, you guys should be done rows 12 to 17. And join me on row 18. So for row 18, we are going to be doing 7 single crochets and a decrease. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight is our decrease. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 is our decrease. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four is our decrease. Twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32 is our decrease. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40 is our decrease. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and our last two stitches will be 48 for our last decrease of that row. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, for a total of 42. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eight, oops, I did not do that very well. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven is our decrease. Sorry, I don't edit out myself. Um, I just place everything together, so you'll have to bear with me. So, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thir
oops, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35 is our decrease. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42 is our last decrease. For row 20, we're going to do five single crochets and one decrease for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-
28, 29, and 30 for our last decrease. For row 22, we're going to do three single crochets and one oops, decrease for a total of 18. So one, two, three, and four is our decrease. Five, six, seven, and eight will be a decrease. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve will be a decrease. 13, 14, 15, and 16 will be a decrease. 17, 18, 19, and 20 is a decrease. 21, 22, 23, and 24 will be our last decrease. Okay, so for row 23, if you're making the small, um, you're going to be doing what I'm doing. If you're making the large, you're going to be doing a row of just a straight row of 24 and I will have um, what I'm doing on this side for the small and what if you're doing the large the instructions will be on this side so they're both row 23 but different depending on which size you're making so for the small we're gonna do two single crochets and a decrease for a total of 18 for the large you're gonna go all the way around 24 single crochets. Okay, one, two, three is a decrease for the small ones. Four, five, six is a decrease. Seven, Eight and nine is a decrease. Oh, ten, eleven, twelve is a decrease. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen is a decrease. Seven, whoop, 16, 17, and 18 is a decrease. Okay, so that was row 23. For row 24, um, the smalls are going to do, whoops, the smalls are going to do two single crochets and an increase for a total of 24. The large are going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. Okay, so remember I'm only doing the small, not the large. So if you're doing the small, repeat what I'm doing. So two single crochets and an increase. So one, two, and then an increase for three and four. Five, six, and an increase for seven and eight. Nine, 
10 and increase 11 and 12 13 14 and an increase 15 and 16 17 18 then increase for 19 and 20 21 22 and then an increase in your last stitch for 23 and 24. So we should all still be finishing row 20, 24 and starting on row 25. Um, row 25 will be the same whether you are doing um, the small or the large. For row 25, we're going to be attaching the arms. And we're going to do eight single crochets. And then we're going to do four single crochets through each of the stitches in the arm. And then we're going to do another eight single crochets. And then four single crochets through the top of the other arm. Now, if you've never done this, it's going to seem a little awkward, but once you um, finish, it's going to actually be very easy. And I like to make sure when I do do this that both my strings are on the same side, and I'll probably make that the front. And then when I um, tie them off later, I can kind of give them a tug through the back and make them tighter. That's why I usually leave some string on there. Okay, so we're going to do eight single crochets, small and large, both the same row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so grab your arm, and I want my, this is my back here, so I want my strings facing away from me, so they'll be on the front, and you're going to go through your first single crochet on your arm, and the next um, stitch after you just did your eight, so can see there so there's your eighth stitch right there you're going to be going into this one right here and then you're just going to single crochet through both sides so that's one and then get through the next stitch two and go through the next stitches. Oops. Three. And this will be the last stitch on your arm. And the next stitch in your in your head or body. So that's four. And if you want to keep this out of the way. Just give it a wrap around and tuck it in because you're not going to be needing that until your guy is pretty much all stuffed closer to the end. Okay, so now make sure you're in the next stitch. So this is where your last stitch was. And then this is your next stitch right, right there. We're going to do eight single crochets. You might need to give it a bit of a tug if you've been had your everything pulled around. So one, two, three, four, oops, five, six. Uh, 
So then, I just realized I did something wrong here. Eight. I think I left. Oh no. My math isn't adding up in my head, but I guess it's, oh yeah, eight, eight, and eight, okay. So now we're gonna, should have four stitches left. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna put our other arm on. Make sure the strings are pointing to the front. If you're doing it the way I'm doing it, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so through your arm, through the next stitch in your head slash body. And we're gonna do four single crochets. One, two, I just wish, I wish you could see without that string in the way. Three, and the last one, four, Make sure you're in the right stitch for. And that was row 25. So now we're gonna start shaping the body. And we are gonna do row 26, three single crochets, one increase for a total of 30. So one, two, three, and an increase for four and five. And just repeat that all the way around. And this is the easy one because we're counting by five. So six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 will be your increase. Oops. See, I just said it was easy and I did one too many stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine and 10 are your increase. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen and fifteen is your increase. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And 19 and 20 is your increase. 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25 is your increase. And 26. 27, 28, and 29, and 30 is your increase. Row 27, you're just going to do 30 single crochets all the way around. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, whoops, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. The next row, something. Oh, okay. I shouldn't be reading ahead in my pattern. So row 28, we're going to do four single crochets and an increase for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, and an increase for five. <clears throat> and six. Okay, so we're just going to repeat that all the way around or count it in sixes. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve for the increase. 13, 14, 15, and that should be 16. Oh boy. No, 17 and 18 for the increase. Oh, I think I need a break from this. I can't even count anymore. 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase for 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and increase for 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and increase for 35 and 36. Okay, for row 29, it's just going to be 36 single crochets all the way around. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
We're going to do five single crochets and one increase. So one, two, three, four, five, and an increase for six and seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase for thirteen and fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and then our increase is twenty and twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty four. 5, 26, and our increase is 27 and 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and our oh, increase is 34 and 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and our increase is 41 and 42. Now, if you're doing the large, you're going to do another row, and we're going to call it row 30B, and you're going to do six single crochets and an increase, and repeat that all the way around for a total of 48. And then um, I will meet you back when we start row 31. Okay, so if you are doing the small, we are going to do row 31 to row 36, 42 single crochets all the way around. If you're doing the large, we're going to do row 31 to 36, 48 single crochets all the way around. So before we get any more pieces attached that we're going to have to work around, um, we're going to start stuffing the, the head and do the face. So get your stuffing. And because we're going to shape this a little bit, you want to have it fairly firm. Because 
is when we start doing um, pulling the, the nose in and maybe making the cheeks. We want to be able to see that definition in the in the head. So there's quite a bit of stuffing going in here. You can always add a little bit more um, before you close or stuff the body. Just make sure you're not separating those stitches too much. Oops, that's the back. We want the front. Okay, I'm going to start with that. Um, get your pins out because you're going to want to do um, as much pinning as you can. Before attach we're just gonna take our thread for our ears and we're gonna sew up the end of the ears so I like to go through this way once just kind of hide that knot or I might go this way I think and get that knot on the inside and then just start going back and forth through both sides. Till you get to the other side. Now, if you're doing a big ear and you want to kind of make this base smaller, you can give it a bit of a pull. But I didn't on the one I did. I just left it as wide as it was. If you give it a pull, it'll kind of do that. But I think for the smaller ear, it's already small enough. You could do the bigger ear on small guy, I guess. So we're going to line it up. If you see what I did on this one, we have our first round. We have our second round and we have our third round. So just this side of the third round is where we're going to attach it on both sides. So one, two, three, and then we'll stick our our needle in once we um, get it pinned on. Oh yeah, my guy doesn't want to stand up. Okay, so grab your pins, find your third, your third, um, that's a crappy pin, find your third row um, in the center and if you line it up you want it right with the arms going across like this. And I'm going to start with the yarn on this side because when we do some of the sculpting, um, if you have the yarn on this end, you can pull it in like this and shape the head a little bit. You want it straight down. Count how many rows you'll have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's where you're going to put your, your um, ear on the other side. So in the third one for the top. And make sure you get that in the center where the arm is. And on the eighth row for the bottom. Make sure you're happy with that and then get your other ear. Do the same thing. So we got row one, row two, row three. So we're going to put that right about here. And then we're going to count 
down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like I counted nine. You can check that by following this line all the way around. Oh, and I was wrong. It just was deceiving me. We want that down there on that eighth. row or ah and then you're just gonna oh I put no I put it the right way then you're just gonna go up and down and around with your darning needle make sure they're even check all the ways seem pretty even to me it seems a little forward still go back another stitch Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna start and then I'll do the rest off camera. So make sure you're in that third stitch right in the center. Just grab one stitch width there. And I'm gonna take this pin out. And you're just going to go through these two stitches and then pull it tight. And then you're just going to keep doing that through the next row. Grab one, see, grab one stitch in the row and then your next stitch on your ear, making sure you're going through both sides of that stitch. Can't really, it's hard for me to see through this camera. It's right in front of me. Yeah, maybe I'll just do the whole air. Go in your next row. And through your next stitch on both sides. Watch your pins stay where they're supposed to be. Down through your next row. Make sure you don't catch the stuffing because you don't want that coming up and around, showing through your ear. And you're gonna go through the ear again on both sides. Can't really tell how straight I'm doing it right now. That one might have been a little far ahead. Almost to the last row here. stitch. And then I think we're on our last row, but let's just double check. Oops, my guy came out. I got two more to do. Just grab that eighth one. Oops, going the wrong way. And you go through here once or twice, however you um, feel you need to secure it good enough. I'm gonna go through twice. And then we're gonna tie it in the back, right close to the bottom. Just find a, a stray stitch down close to the bottom. 
and you're going to give it a tie. Later on, you're going to put that down right here in a hole so you can hide this knot. Okay, I'm going to go put the other ear on and then I'll come back and we'll do the next part. Okay, so for the eyes and the muzzle, we want to kind of try and find our center. So I'm going to make it about right here. Use your arms and your ears. The camera doesn't look very center, but to me it does. And we're only going to temporarily do some stuff here, so um, it doesn't matter a whole lot until we get pinning. So we want to go down about 11 rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we want to separate them about six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're just going to temporarily stick our post of our eye in there. And I've come to realize in the last little bit here that I'm crocheting way tighter than I did about four months ago because everything I'm making now is smaller than what I made before. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These might have to go down one more row. We'll see once we get the... Now don't forget, they're going to look really far apart, but we're going to pull um, these eyes in with thread, so they're going to be like this. So they're going to be a lot closer than they, they look now. And then we'll get our nose on there. So the top of my eyes, and I think, ugh, I'll double check and I'll write it in the materials. I think these are 18 millimeter eyes, but they could be 20. Um, but I will write that in the materials. So the top of the eye here is just kind of one stitch under the ears. Ideally, I think you want them to be just a touch higher than the middle. So, like I said, they might have to go down one more row. But we'll see how it looks once we get everything pinned. I think that's going to work. So get a little bit of stuffing in your nose or muzzle. Might be a little too much. You can add a little bit before you finish. And I'm just going to start pinning that guy down. I got him just kind of where the eyes are, resting there. So there's the bottom of my eyes. And he's, I don't know, about one, two, three, four, four or five stitches up from... from the, um, where I have the arms on. Oh, I think I had this kind of point. Let's get rid of that. I think I kind of pointed the top as I was going. I got too much stuffing still. So I think I had the bottom flat and then the, the top kind of pointed. So I'm going to put one up there. Of course I picked the crooked pin. And I'm going to make kind of a triangle. And I'm going to put a pin on this corner. And a pin on this corner. Sorry, my hands are going to really be in the way. 
And I forgot to, I think I can still do it. You got your, did I tie that? Hold on. Oh no, I didn't. You're gonna wanna tie the beginning of your nose to the end of your nose there so that you're not pulling your nose stitching out. I'm sorry, this is, this is, um, gonna take a minute here, but this is the part I really don't like. So you want to get that so it's even, and I'm definitely bringing my eyes down one more. Come on. You see, I brought them in a little, I brought them in one stitch closer too. So I might have to move back again when I go to, um, before I put them in. But let's just, so when you do this one, oh, I'm so unorganized. It's been a while since I finished their faces, so I don't have it. You want to get your one thread down here and you want to tighten up this so you make that little bump on the bottom. Make sure you got it straight before you pull it up and in. Yeah, that already looks a little better. And I'm going to do it twice. I might even go down. I didn't last time, but I think I might even go down into his face here. And just take one stitch. I was pinning it up, but now this might be a better way. Might need a little bit more stuffing in the end. So just position your nose how you want it. I'll be putting a lot more pins in here than this. Um, once I get it all pinned on, I'll come back for a quick little um, thing on how I sew it on. So get your face how you want it, pin it together, and I will see you back in a little bit. As you can see, I have no shortage of pins going on here. That nose is not going to move anywhere. So to get started, um, you're just going to grab a little chunk of the gray underneath. And take your time with this. Watch that your stitches are not, um, oh, what do I want to say? Watch that your stitches aren't, um, your white isn't coming on this side of your stitch. Make sure you're underneath. Can't even grab that one. I got it so tight. Slowly take your pins out as you go. You're going to go in through the white, through the head, and then out. And then you're going to come up into your next stitch. And you're going to go around. Oh, I've got so many pins. You just grab this a little bit of the head. Oops. And then just keep going around like that into the next stitch. And it doesn't matter if you go back in the same stitch you just came out of as long as you've come up one stitch and down into the next stitch on the mouth. Boy, if I ever got that tight. I don't know what I've done different. Okay, so just go all the way around to get back up to here. And then you're just going to tie it off. And you're going to stick your needle through 
out the back and cut it. Okay, so I got the nose finish sewing on. And I've decided that I like where the eyes are now. I did move them back one more stitch from where I'd left them to begin with. I'm not going to sculpt yet just because I want to see how the whole um, body turns out before I do the face. But I am going to commit to the eyes right here. Because um, I think when we sculpt them that'll look okay like that. So let's put the backs on. If you're not ready to put the back on yet, you can just um, keep going and you can pull all the stuffing out when you're, um, before you close and then you can put your eyes on. You can play with them a bit and put your eyes on. Yeah. I got stuffing in there. This is not the funnest way to do it, but listen for the clicks. Get that end post by your thumb and get your little, what would you call this, the back on? I've got my clicks. I think I go. Oh yeah, that looks funny. Maybe I don't have it clicked all the way. Just a second. Oh, I got stuffing in between there, that's why. There, I got one more click on it. It's a little better. Okay, so both, um, if you're doing the small or the large, you should now be ready to start row 37, um, but you'll have a different count. The small is on 42 stitches and the large is on 48 stitches. So when you're doing the tail, if you're in the same spot as me, it's going to be five. Um, so let me look here. Oh, I have four, but I think it's it's going to be five single crochets and then five single crochets through the tail and then I think 32 single crochets all the way around but if you're not in the same spot or if it's not going to look right for you line up your tail fold this so it's even with your arms and ears put your tail in the center and then you're just going to mark that spot. Where's my hook? Oh, <laughs> right there. You're just going to mark your first stitch that you're going to make into the tail. What, just grab a piece of yarn or a paper clip or a stitch marker, anything that you have. And then you'll know you'll have the right amount of stitches on this side to get your tail in the center. My pattern I have marked down four, and I think I changed it to five for this cat. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and nope, mine is going to be six. Your number might be different. Don't be concerned about what number you're at as long as you get um, to where your center tail first stitch is. So I'm going to take that marker out now and we're going to sew the tail in just like we sewed the arms in. Five stitches across. So one. Two, make sure you're going in the right stitch, three, four, and five. Now, if 
I do my math right, I had 33 stitches going around, but since I added two more stitches on this side, I should have 31. And if you're doing the large, you're going to have a different amount than everyone doing the small. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. You should have a total of 42 stitches if you're doing a small and a total of 48 if you're doing a large. Okay, um, for row 38, we're going to do the same thing for the legs. I'm not even going to use my stitch count. I'm just going to do what we just did for the tail. So where's the leg? Ooh, where's my other leg? Oh, there it is. So make sure, so this is for the no-sew side leg only. If you're not doing the side leg, just go all the way around, which whatever stitch count your last row was. So how many leg stitches do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we want three on this side. So one, two, three. Put your marker in on this side. I should be using little tiny pieces, but this is what's beside me. And then you're gonna want three on this side. And we're gonna cross over a bit into the next row, it looks like. start here. One, two, three. Okay, where's another piece of yarn? Um, you can check it when you're done too. If you have to redo it, that's fine. What's my next row going to be if I do it this way? Well, it's going to be an increase row. Perfect. Okay. I have that. Okay. And this is why I don't like the sideways leg, I guess. So I'm going to crochet single crochet until I get to the first marker, which is where I'll start my first leg. And again, you're going to have the same amount of stitches as your last row. No increasing on this row.
Okay, so we're at our stitch marker. Now we're going to start our first leg. Make sure you have the toe facing the front. So that's the back with the tail, toe to the front. And then you're going to do your six single crochets through the foot and through the body. One. Two. Three. And then you're going to continue around so you get to your next stitch marker. Okay, we're at our stitch marker and remember um, you have six stitches and for me I have one two three four on this side and I'm gonna have two starting in the next row and the next row is five single crochets and a decrease so it's not going to matter for the small it's not going to matter too much having two single crochets here so I'll grab my other leg Make sure the toe is pointing to the front. Then do your six single crochets. One. Two. Five and six are going to be going on the other side. I think I'm going to move my stitch marker over so I can see it when we get on the next row. So there's five and six. Hopefully that's even. Okay. So now if you are, let's see, you're at 42. If you're doing the large, you're going to do um, 38B. You're going to do six single crochets and one decrease to bring you down to 42. And then when we move on to row 39, we'll all be doing everything together again. Okay, so for row 39, we're going to be doing five single crochets and one decrease for a total of 36. And remember, we have two already, so, or I have two. However you have there, for me, there's going to be three, four, and five. And then you're going to continue that three and an increase, or, oh, that was a decrease. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease for six. Okay, so just because I screwed up, I'm just going to repeat that. Row 39 is five single crochets and one decrease. And we'll be counting by sixes. So seven... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18 is a decrease. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. And 24 is a decrease. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty is a decrease. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, and thirty-six is a decrease. And that should bring us around to our stitch marker. Okay, for row 40, we're going to do four single crochets and a decrease and repeat that, that all the way around. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15 is a decrease. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 is a decrease. 21. 22, oh, 23, 24, and 25 is a decrease. Sorry, it's getting hard to get to keep this in the camera with all this extra down here at the bottom. 26. 27, 28, 29, and 30 is a decrease. 41. Okay, for row 41, 
we're going to do three single crochets and a decrease. I don't know if I should move this up a bit. Oh, my arms are so far away, I can't barely reach. Okay, one, two, three, and four is a decrease. Five. Yeah, six, seven, and eight is a decrease. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve is a decrease. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen is a decrease. Seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen and twenty is a decrease. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. Okay, if you are doing the small with the legs on the side um, or the small with the legs on the bottom, you're going to stuff this up. Yeah. You're going to stuff up the bottom up in here and then close off. And I'm going to give you the last three rows up over here. And then you are all done except for the shaping. And I am going to start um, anybody who's doing these legs. Let's start from the body and keep on going down to the end of the feet. I'll get them started on that. And then um, I think I will go to the sculpting. Okay, so I'm sorry if this is confusing. Shoot, I don't know what to do to make this make sense. Okay, so I'm going to get you started if you're going to be doing um, the legs like this. We're going to pretend these legs are not on this guy. And we are going to continue from row 41, where we have 24 um, single crochets. So what you need to do is find your halfway. To get your center here. Get your two sides. And then you're going to count six stitches this way and mark it, six stitches this way and mark it, and then there should be six stitches this way and six stitches this way. What side's my thing on? Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there should be 12 going all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So basically what you want is 12 st stitches on each side. 
Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you can mark those if you want. Um, I don't know if you need to. It might help for the second row. Or when you start your um, second leg. Okay, so you are going to go all the way around to this to this stitch and then you're going to go over into this stitch where the white is and then you're going to finish off your round so you'll have 12 single crochets going all the way around to start your first leg One, two, yeah, I'm catching my stuffing. This will be a lot easier for you. I just have my arms stretched way out. So three. Four, five, six, and then we're going to squish this together and come on this side and we're going to put number seven where that white stitch marker is. And you want this to be really tight. You're probably going to end up with a hole here between your two legs. When you do your next leg, just leave a bit of a tail there. And then you can use that tail to sew that together. This is going to look so confusing. Okay, so that's stitch number seven in there. I'm going to go back to our first stitch marker over here. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Flip your stitch marker. Now you're going to be working on the leg on one leg only. Um, so that was round one. For round two, you're going to do two single crochets and an increase to get you to 16 stitches. So one, two, three, four, Five. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, guys. I got so much going on in my head trying to unconfuse. I'm making it more confusing. So I'm going to start over one, two, and then three and four in that third stitch. Five, six, and then seven and eight, where you crossed over here to the other side. Make sure you get in the next stitch. So you're in the stitch. So this is, is it nine? And then 10, 
11 and 12. Then 13. Fourteen and fifteen and sixteen for your last increase there. Okay. So you're just going to keep going on like that all the way around. Um, for the small, you're going to do rows three to eight for the larger leg you're going to do three to 15 then you'll change your color if you're changing color and you'll do your foot and i'm going to put all that up in here maybe on a um a separate screenshot and then i'll show you how we're going to start the next i am going to take these white ones out we got so much going on here So you'll finish this whole foot. When you get to the second leg, I think I got some extra gray here. If I can find the end. It's probably gonna be a big knotty mess. Okay. So to start the second leg, you're just gonna make a knot with a loop, just like you started all your rounds, or if you were gonna make a chain. And so this stitch, can you see that even? I've done this without stuffing. Okay. So this is where your first stitch will be. This is where your last stitch will be. This is part of the stitch here, and the stitch here is super stretched, and that is part of your other leg. You're going to want 12 single crochets all the way around. So you're going to do a slip stitch. into there then you're going to do 12 single crochets whoops want the first one in the same stitch you just slip stitched one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm hitting my light all the time. Eleven. And this last one with the slip stitch is your 12 stitch. And you're just following the pattern that you did for this leg. Um, grab a stitch marker if you need one. And you're gonna come over to this other side where you did your slip stitch and your first single crochet. And you're gonna start your next row which is two single crochets and an increase. So you have 16. Oh my goodness. I'll just do that again. It's really not as hard as it looks. It just, I have the camera between me and my arms are stretched right out. So I can't even see barely what my stitch is. So one, Two, and an increase for three and four. Oh, just light. Five, 
six, seven, and eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve for your increase. Thirteen, fourteen. Oh, my stitch marker came out. And 15 and 16. Okay. And then you'll just follow your pattern with your 16 um, single crochet rows for the amount of um, how whatever length your foot you're doing. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these so I can show you. That's my stitch marker. Okay, so once you have, um, before you start your feet anyways, on the second foot, see how you're gonna have this hole here? Take one of your ends from your legs and then just stitch that closed like that. And then start your feet. And stuff as you go will be helpful. <laughs> Looks funny. Um, I'm going to undo this and sew the bottom closed. Um, and I think that's it for now. And I'll come back and we'll start working on the face again. If I forgot anything, it will be written down, um, somehow on the video when I get into editing. Okay, so you should have your full body of um, your cat with the long legs um, joined from the body all the way down to the bottom finished up. You should have this guy with the legs like this finished up right to the bottom. And then if you're doing this guy with the legs like this, you would have just sewn them on just a little um, in front of center straight across. So now we are going to um, put all these strings in. Um, I'm not 100% sure I'm keeping this guy this way. I might make him with his legs attached on the bottom. So I am just going to wrap this up and stick it inside in case I want to take that apart later. And we'll do the arm strings. To thread your darning needle. And I've always already got this one done. I just threaded it inside the hole right here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, right in the stitch underneath, and then bring it out the back where your other string for your other arm was. And you're going to knot those, but you're going to kind of pull them in. Maybe I can't seem to pull them in. I'll put one tie in there. Um, I apologize if I go off screen. I just have a very small window here to get everything in. Okay, get that tail out of the way. So you give them a little tug, make them come in a bit, and then you're gonna tie them off. Rethread both strings onto your needle.
I think those ends out somewhere down in the back or the bottom. Doesn't really matter where. And then you're just going to cut them off. Give them a bit of a tug. Snip them off and those ends should slip back inside his body. And then you're going to do the same thing with the legs. If you have this one. Um, if you have the other way, you'll have you'll do the same thing, and you're going to do the same thing with the tail. The tail will come up through the front, and the legs bring them out under his tail there. Okay, so we're going to do the nose first. So we're just going to bring our string down somewhere close to the top of the head and out behind one of the eyeballs kind of close to the front but underneath. You want to catch one of those stitches. I'm getting that one for some reason. There we go. So down in there. Now the first one's not going to be super tight because you don't have it um, tied tight to anything. But as you get going, whoops, I almost pulled the wrong end out. As you get going, you'll pull on that to tighten the first end there. So now you're going to go up. I think I might go there. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> so we came out here. And then we're going to go just right beside it. Try and get under the eye if you can. If you can't, just go in front of it. And then we want to get down in that bottom stitch again. And then just in front of it over to the other side where you've already been. With your first stitch in there. And you should start being able to kind of pull it tight there. Now we go back again, the stitch you were in. I can't find it. My needle's bending everywhere. Okay, there we go. Give that a tug and that should bring that eye back over. Your goal is to try to kind of try to keep them flat, but come together. You don't want to make it too tight so he's cross-eyed, but you want, don't want to make it too loose that it comes undone on you. So where was I in there? Just make sure you don't go in the same stitch you just came out of, or that last one will not count towards in towards what you've been doing. These last few stitches are just kind of keeping it so it doesn't, um, yeah. so it doesn't go any further apart. I think that's good enough for that. So do it a few times. I think I did it four times. And then you're going to take your, your thread and you're going to come back up where you started. And then you're going to tie that off. Fairly tight. Because it will sink down a little bit. And then you're going to just oops, thread those ends out the back of the head somewhere.
I'm just gonna go right in the hole and out to the back. I just fell and give that a bit of a just a, so it doesn't pull that out. Okay. And then we're gonna do the ears. Now you can either just pull these out the back of the head, like you did the arms or the legs, or if you want to give them a bit of a cheek, so he looks kind of like this. You're going to go straight in where you made your knot, down low at the bottom. And you're going to come out, where do I want it? Somewhere right in here, you're gonna just gonna have to kind of play with it. Um, for this guy, I went, I went really far forward, so I'm gonna try this more, more like this, so it's a little closer to the, to where the ear is instead of under the eyeball. And I don't think that is far enough. I'm gonna go one more row down. So right now I'm just kind of in front of the arm. And then right back up. And back out where the ear hole was you had. If I can get, where are you? I can feel it, there it is. I'm gonna give that a tug. And then your your cat's little cheeks will go up like that. I'm not sure that's that might not be far enough. Anyway, that's the idea. You're gonna have to play around a little bit with where you want your cheek to start. I might have to go to the to the front and down lower because I'm kind of pulling his neck apart here. And do it on the row that Do it on the row that his arms are attached, maybe. So I was thinking that was too low, but maybe it's not. And let's try coming up the eye instead of the ear. That might help us. I don't know what I'm doing. This is actually my first thing I've sculpted, so. Yeah, I think going through the eye is a little better. I don't think I brought the ear across enough. Ah, I'm gonna break my darning needle here. I can feel it bending, I'm trying to get it through that eye. Yeah, that's better. Probably could have brought the ear a little more this way. But I'm happy enough with that. Okay, so I'm going to just go down one more time. Whoops. sure you're staying in the same two stitches you're always using. And then bring that out the back. Or if you think you need more of a thing here, you can always bring it up to your ear, up to the ear and do that. But I think I'm okay with that. I don't want to go too overboard. And then do the same for the other side. I 
it should look like this when you're done. Okay, so you should be done one of these three cats. Maybe you're going to try all three. Um, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. I might eventually um, do some clothes. Like, I really want to do a little vest for the cat. I'd like to um, maybe make other animals this way. So let me know if you like this way or prefer... Um, just if I'd done one or three different videos for each cat. Um, I guess like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you thought. And um, happy crocheting. Thanks for watching.